Welcome back in another video. Today we are going to talk about the different suction system that you can have connected to your dental units. We have different kind of suction system in a dental clinic and some of them are a bit old and not well performing. Some other are the newest and with better performance. So we are going to analyze each of them and see what are the pro and the cons of the both systems. Let's say that we have four different family of suction motors or suction system. I say suction system because three system are with a motor and one is without motor. So we are going to analyze all of them. One is the dry suction, the other one is the humid or wet suction and the third one that apply the motor is a liquid suction system. The fourth is a Venturi suction system that is basically a um, rudimental way of having a suction but not through a motor while we use a compressor instead of the motor. The three system that are using um, machinery is the dry suction, wet suction and liquid suction. The liquid suction is a very old system that need the use of water, a lot of water to run the motor. So you need to apply a pipe inside the motor that provide the water to let run the, the motor. In this case we have a huge consume of water and it's not a a really sustainable system that we suggest to use in a clinic but it was in the past a very good alternative to the dry suction system when the humid or wet was not already born. The most common system in terms of motors are the dry suction and the wet suction. The dry suction, as it say the word itself, is a kind of motor that cannot receive water inside the motor itself. So we need to suck only the air and not any kind of water that uh, are in the suction system. So what you have to do when we apply a kind of system like dry suction is to separate the air and the water before they arrive to the motor. We have different way to separate air and water. One of these is to apply the separator inside the dental chair, that is the most common. And in that case we can install, for example, the CS1 from Dur. It has this purpose to separate air and water inside the unit. Or you can apply also a air water separator inside the suction motor. But in that case it depends if you have a drain system inside the machinery room or if you don't have a drain system inside the machinery room. Because the separator, once he separates the water, he needs to put the water somewhere, so in, in the drain pipe that is normally under the dental chair. If you have in the machinery room, it will go in a drain pipe in the machinery room, but you still need to have a drain pipe next to the air water separator. One of the meaning to use a dry suction system is that you don't have, for example, a pipe for the drain in the machinery room. You cannot bring there all the water and air from the, the air is not a problem, but the water cannot arrive to the machinery room. So you need to separate before, and this before it can be in the dental chair. So one reason to use a dry suction system instead of a wet suction system is the absence of drain pipe in, in the machinery room. And the second one is that if you have a machinery room in the upper floor comparing the level of the dental chair. In case you have the dental unit on this floor, on the level floor, and you need to apply the motor upstairs, you must apply the dry suction system because the wet suction cannot suck the liquid for more than the level of the dental unit. So even if it's one meter more, you cannot use the wet suction system. The wet suction system instead is one of the most popular suction way that we have in the dental chairs and in the practices is a system that doesn't need any air water separator inside the dental chair or in the motor so you don't need to apply any valve so for this reason it's very useful to have this system in the clinic and comparing the liquid suction system that is the system that we were using many years ago you don't need any water consumption so the motor works only with the power 
and the input that you give to the motor but without any water input or something like that. So it doesn't consume water. It's one of the recent motor that uh, the industry developed in the dental market. As I said, at the same time, you don't have any air water separation system, so the cost, it will be a bit less. The only cons of having a humid suction system is the opposite of the benefit of the dry suction system, mostly. So let's say that you need a drain pipe in the machinery room. So in case you don't have the possibility to have a pipe, you need to create it. And the second one is that you cannot apply a wet suction system above the level of the dental unit. So it must be on the same floor or one level down. Because imagine to if the motor has to take all the water three meters up, it will be very demanding for the motor itself. All motors need a suction activation wire that has to go from the machinery room where you have your suction motor until the dental chair because you need to put a signal to allow the motor to start and stop. Mostly this signal is a clean wire connection so you don't have any voltage inside the, the two wires but sometimes in the old system, in some dry suction system and sometimes also in the liquid suction system, these two wires are also the two wires that provide the electricity to the suction motor. So in that case, we need to apply a relay to divide the electricity that goes to the motor and the one that goes in the suction cannula to give the signal input. Otherwise, it's very dangerous to put the 220 volt in the assistant tray. A relay must be installed and normally the relay is bought by the distributor or the technician that goes to to make the installation the air suction system doesn't need a uh, huge maintenance neither the wet suction system but at least you need to clean all the time every week the the filter and it's a good practice as i said also to clean all the tubes in order to keep fresh all the pipes and the connection that you have between the dental chair and the drain pipe. All things that are in the middle need to be clean, fresh and without any blood can come up from the tubes and arrive next to you and next to the, the patient that are sitting on your dental unit. So to resume a bit we have some old system like the liquid system and the Venturi system the Venturi system is still used in some countries because you avoid the, the cost of the motor and is a bit weak and you use the suction that is controlled by the compressor, let's say, so by uh, air flush and you don't need any other motor or device to let work this kind of suction. The dry suction system is a system that you use only in some specific condition and the wet suction system is the more common, most popular and the easy to work with system that we have in the market. I hope you get all the information or at least some information to better understand the differences between a suction that is dry, wet, liquid or venturi. In case I have been not so clear and you need to clarify more, please let me know in the comments so we can check and do maybe another video where we explain better all these features or we integrate with the question that you have and you need to know about this. Thank you for watching this video. In case you need more information, you can visit our website www.simplesmart.it or simply ask to our technician and experts the, by mail the information that you need to know. Thank you, bye bye.